Hey YouTube, today I'm going to teach you how to play Butterfly Flyaway by Miley Cyrus. This is a request from Kendra Flower One, and I'm sorry I've taken so long to do it, but I'm doing it now, so that's cool. Right, thing to notice about the song, if you want to play along with the CD, oh shit, I'll do it again, there is a, <laughs> there's a capo on fourth. So basically you just put the capo wherever it suits your voice, so there's no point asking me where you put the capo because I don't know. So this song has five chords, C add nine, G6, A sus, A7 sus4, D sus4, and D. Yep, so I'm now going to explain to you how to play those chords, and if you know them, skip ahead. Right, okay, high E string, string one, uh, low, low E string, string six. So C add nine, you put your first finger on the fifth string second fret, I'm sorry, you put your first finger on the fourth string second fret, your middle finger on the fifth string third fret, your ring finger on the second string third fret, and your little finger on the first string third fret. That's C add nine. Okay, G7, well, you leave these two little fingers where they are, and take your top two off. That was a very rude sign, and no one else should ever do that. I'm sorry. Anyway, you put, then you put your first finger on the fifth string second fret. G7, A sus4, just move your finger, this finger, down a string. So that goes to the uh, fourth string second fret. Uh, D sus4, once again, you just move this finger down a string. So that goes onto the third string second fret. And D, oh, you move your fingers, it's a change. Anyway, right, D, you put your first finger on the second fret third string, your middle finger on the uh, first fret second string. I'm sorry, other way around. First string, second fret. And then you put your ring finger on the second string, third fret. And that is D. Okay, so with this, there are two ways to play it. You can either do it with chords, or you can do it with the picking. Okay, so the picking is not exactly how she plays it, but I have not been able to find a tab on the internet that has exactly the right picking. So I just kind of made it up today and listened to it. Yeah, so this song has a chord pattern that goes all the way through, through the introduction, the verse, the chorus, and then the bits after the chorus. So this chord pattern is C add 9, G6, A7 sus4, and G6. So four chords. C add 9, G6, A sus4, A7 sus4, whatever you get what I'm saying, and G6. So, first of all, obviously, the song starts with the introduction. So that is just that chord pattern repeated twice. Then it goes into the verse. Right, slight confession. I'm going to need to read the words and where the chords go, because I don't know. Okay, right. So, like I said... The chord pattern G, uh, C add 9, G6, A sus4, and G6 goes all the way through. So, the first verse, I'm going to assume you kind of know it, so I'll just sing it through for, I'll just sing it through about how it sounds, and then you can figure out like where the chords, and then I'll tell you where the chords go, and you can kind of figure out the rest of it. So, introduction, second time. I'm sorry, I don't know the tune, and that just showed it on that second bit. But that was just the same chord pattern going through, apart from the end where it changed, but I'll talk to you about that. 
so after so um it starts with a u and then you begin the chord pattern on tuck to be in and then it just goes around 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 and then the next bit that you had to do it all alone that bit's a bit different but obviously it's same chord pattern it goes you had to and then it's c add nine on do it's all alone so you had to c add nine do it all at g6 alone make a a sus for living make a g6 home then c add nine must have been as g6 hard as it could be a sus c6 and when i c add nine couldn't sleep at g6 night scared things a7 wouldn't turn out g6 right c add nine you were told my g6 hands and sing it too then on me it then goes d sus four then d and then that goes into the chorus the little caterpillar in a true bit so the chord pattern once again is exactly the same so just c add nine on caterpillar in the g6 tree a sus four how you on the g6 who you'll be and that goes on until the bit which goes i promise you i promise you there will come a day so that's I tell you, i'll just sing the chorus through and cause i'm sorry i don't know the tune but oh well you can get the hint of it so actually from last line <laughs> on so that changed on the i c add nine promise you g6 there will come a day and then on day it was d sus four and then on butterfly fly away it was d and then back into the introduction and then it goes into a little butterfly butterfly bit got got your wings now you can't stay same chord pattern as normal then butterfly 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 da, 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 da. same chord pattern as normal so that was all good. So, we've mostly done. So that was all of the chords. The rhythm I was doing there, just out of interest, was uh, one, two, and, and four, and, or down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Right, now I'm going to talk about the picking, and I don't know how long we've got left because I can't read upside down. So the picking, it's harder than other bits of picking that i've shown you on videos before but i'll do it anyway so c add nine is the first chord so the picking starts on there you pluck string two remember two and five at the same time then three one two three two so two and five three one, two, three, two. So the one, two, three, two bit stays the same whichever chord you're playing. The uh, it's just the first string you pluck changes. So I'm sorry, it's the three, one, two, three thing stays the same. So C add nine, you pluck two and five. Three, one, two, three, two. Then you change to D, G six, and you pluck the same strings again. So two and five. Three, one, two, three, two. A sus four, this is the one that changes. You pluck two and four. Three, one, two, three, two, then back to G6, which same strings as before. So that was C add nine and G6, you pluck strings two and five together first. Then A sus four, you pluck two and three together. So and I'm not really sure about the picking for the chorus because I couldn't actually find a proper tab with this pit with the right picking. So I just value I just go straight into strumming for the chorus. So I think that's everything. Yep. Whatever. Send me any questions. Keep what uh, you know. Keep watching my videos. You know. Have a nice life. Be nice to people. Cause the world's a happy place after all. Bye.